I understand the pain that people are feeling. The death of George Floyd on the streets of Minneapolis was a grave tragedy. It should never have happened. It has filled Americans all over the country with horror, anger, and grief. We support the right of peaceful protesters, and we hear their pleas. The voices of law-abiding citizens must be heard, and heard very loudly. We will stand with the family of George Floyd, with the peaceful protesters, and with every law-abiding citizen who wants decency, civility, safety, and security. But what we are now seeing on the streets of our cities has nothing to do with justice or with peace. The memory of George Floyd is being dishonored by rioters, looters, and anarchists. The violence and vandalism is being led by Antifa and other radical left-wing groups who are terrorizing the innocent, destroying jobs. I did this for no reason. The mobs are devastating the life's work of good people and destroying their dreams. We work so hard to get here. So hard. It harms those who have the least. We cannot and must not allow a small group of criminals and vandals to wreck our cities and lay waste to our communities. We must defend the rights of every citizen to live without violence, prejudice, or fear. Healing, not hatred, justice, not chaos, are the mission at hand. I stand before you as a friend and ally to every American seeking justice and peace. No one is more upset than fellow law enforcement officers by the small handful who fail to abide by their oath to serve and protect. We support the overwhelming majority of police officers who are incredible in every way and devoted public servants. We must all work together as a society to expand opportunity and to create a future of greater dignity and promise for all of our people. Every citizen in every community has the right to be safe in their workplace, safe in their homes, and safe in our city streets. We are working toward a more just society, but that means building up, not tearing down. Joining hands, not hurling fists. Standing in solidarity, not surrendering to hostility. This is the sacred right of all Americans that I am totally determined to defend and will defend.